Hello everyone. High resolution ultrasound is an excellent imaging modality for diagnosing various soft tissue MSK pathologies including tendons, muscles, soft tissues, periarticular ligaments, soft tissue lumps and bumps, synovium and bursae and peripheral nerves. So here is a case. A 13 year old female presented with complaints of swelling over left forearm since 2 years, slowly increasing in size, mildly painful, no obvious history of trauma, mild restricted movements at wrist or no signs of inflammation. And this is the axial ultrasound image of left forearm. We can see a heterogeneous, predominantly hyperechoic mass lesion located deep to the superficial fascia and there are multiple vascular channels within it picking up the color on color Doppler, suggesting that it is a vascular lesion. Spectral Doppler image shows predominantly venous flow within these dilated channels, suggesting that this is a slow flow venous malformation. So the diagnosis is more or less complete. It's a slow flow venous malformation located deep to superficial fascia. However, MSK radiologist within me was somehow not content and I again started scanning the lesion. So to sur my surprise, this lesion was in fact taking origin from the medial epicondyle of the humerus and ending into a tendinous structure which was further inserting onto the base of second metacarpal, indicating thus this lesion was indeed located within the flexor carpi radialis muscle belly. This is a panoramic ultrasound image which shows beautifully the entire extent of the lesion, the origin of the lesion within the muscle taking origin from medial epicondyle of the humerus and inserting onto the base of second metacarpal. So on the basis of ultrasound, we could diagnose what was the lesion, it was vascular malformation, which type, it was slow flow venous malformation and the location ultrasound correctly told us that this lesion was indeed located in the intramuscular plane involving the flexor carpi radialis muscle belly and this is the real game changer as the location of soft tissue malformation is really important for further uh, management point of view and if the surgeon plans surgical removal of the lesion, had this lesion been in the intermuscular plane, it would have been very easy or relatively easy for the surgeon to take out the lesion. But now this lesion is situated within the muscle belly. So if in case of surgical uh, resection, entire muscle needs to be resected and the patient has to undergo tendon transfer. Thank you.